There are over 180,000 data analyst roles in the UK alone. So why does it feel so challenging to land a data analyst job? It used to be possible to get into the field with little or no experience, but now each position attracts hundreds of candidates. In this video, I'll break down what's going on in the job market and how you can position yourself to actually land a data role, even as a beginner. First, let's look at the main thing companies want. It's not just experience or education. Companies hire based on the value you can add to their team. But because companies can't easily assess that value directly, this makes it tougher for beginners because they don't have a strong track record. Companies see entry-level hires as a risk requiring training and guidance before they become productive. Understanding this helps you approach your job search with the right mindset. Companies want reliable, capable employees who can contribute as quickly as possible. So what can you do? Take courses, do their portfolio, and do everything you can to show that you're ready to add value. Another challenge is the current economic climate. When companies face financial uncertainty, they often reduce hiring to save money. This means fewer jobs are available and more competition from experience professionals who have been laid off or are returning to the job market. For example, we've seen major tech layoffs recently, which has made the market even tougher for entry-level candidates. Unfortunately, this situation means beginners feel the impact most. Companies that once hired entry-level analysts are now prioritizing candidates with experience, creating even more competition for the few roles available. Despite these challenges, it's still possible to get hired, but you would need to ignore what I call the noise of negativity. Job posts may show hundreds of applicants on LinkedIn, but not everyone is equally qualified. Of those applicants, many are still developing their skills, while others may not be actively working on improving their portfolios. Don't get discouraged by other people people's negative experiences. Often, the loudest voices online are the ones who give up too soon or didn't put in the necessary work needed. Remember, the market might be competitive, but that doesn't mean it is impossible. The key is to take strategic action and focus on your own progress. To improve your chances, follow a few essential steps. First, if you have a relevant degree, in fields like computer science, statistics, or finance. That's an advantage. But if you don't, you can still build a strong profile without a degree. If you have any prior experience that shows analytical or problem-solving skills, make sure it's on your CV, even if it's not directly related to data. This could be from a past job or internship, or even a personal project. Then, if you're just starting out, focus on learning the fundamentals through courses, certifications, and most importantly, projects that demonstrate your skills. Building your portfolio is essential. It shows potential employers that you're serious and capable. Another tip is to be strategic in the job search. Don't just apply to big names like Google or Microsoft. Everyone wants to work there, which makes these roles extremely competitive. Instead, look for local or less well-known companies where there is less competition, especially for entry-level roles. You'll have a much better chance with companies you might not have even heard of but still excellent places to start your career. Think of it like learning. You don't master data analysis by tackling the hardest problems right away. You start with simpler projects and build up. It's the same with your job search. Start with smaller companies and work your way up. If you have a particular industry in mind, like e-commerce or finance, try to focus on roles or projects in that field. Even if your experience isn't directly from a job, relevant personal projects can help you stand out. Companies usually prefer hiring data analysts who understand their specific industry. So, showing interest and experience in that field can be a great advantage. Getting into data can be challenging, but if you take the right courses, build a solid portfolio, and target the right types of companies, you're well on your way. Focus on growing your skills and don't let the noise of negativity hold you back. You can achieve your goal if you keep moving forward. If you're ready to take actions, like, subscribe to my channel as I release videos and also tutorials that would help you in your data career. And please leave a like and subscribe to my channel.